Hey Overcomers, I'm Dara Marie. I'm your favorite mindset teacher. And this is Be An Overcomer, where you are inspired and empowered to walk by faith and use the gift of imagination to create the life you desire. So Overcomers, today's message is use your imagination, not willpower. And before I begin, I wanna read to you from the power of your subconscious mind by Joseph Murphy. And I'm going to read a couple of sections. Your mental attitude, example, the way you think, feel, and believe determines your destiny. Bear in mind that your feeling is the touchstone of all subconscious demonstration. Your new idea must be felt subjectively in a finished state, not the future, but as coming about now. In using your subconscious mind, you infer no opponent. You use no willpower. You imagine the end and the freedom state. You will find your intellect trying to get in the way, but persist in maintaining a simple, childlike, miracle-making faith. Picture yourself without the ailment or problem. Imagine the emotional accompaniment of the freedom state you crave. Cut out all red tape from the process. The simple way is the best. And what he means by that, the simple way is the best, is using your imagination. Neville Goddard said that imagination creates reality. Okay? Everything that you see in this outside world was first in the mind of someone. It was first imagined. It was first in someone's imagination, okay? And then eventually, somehow, some way, it materializes into this outside world. As Neville Goddard talks about the bridge of events or bridge of incidents happens to bring you your manifestation. But your job as a conscious creator is to continue to walk by faith and not by sight. To continue to stay in faith. That's why the Bible says, Faith without works is dead. And the Bible says we walk by faith and not by sight. You have to literally put your faith to work. Some of us are quitting before the thing manifests. Some of us are giving up. Now, it's amazing because in terms of other things, we understand. Like, for example, if you're starting like a weight loss journey and you're getting into fitness and exercise, you don't quit after the first few days because you haven't seen you know, your desired weight show up yet. No, you keep persisting, you keep going. If you're studying a new subject, if you're in school, right, you wanna obtain a degree, you don't stop, you keep going until the end, until it manifests, until you have that degree in your hand, okay? So your job as a conscious creator, as a person of faith, is to continue to stay in faith. And you do that by continually seeing it in your mind. And you have to think from the state. As Joseph Murphy said here, is imagine the emotional accompaniment of the freedom state you crave. Because that thing that you desire, there's an uh, emotional state attached to it. For example, if you have a health challenge and then you finally become healthy, you know, healthy and everything is perfect, you're happy, you're joyful. If it's wealth, if you eventually obtain that desired amount, there's a certain ease, there's a certain like happiness, a joy. So you have to tap in. And that's why Neville Goddard says to think from the end. Too often we think of the things we desire. You think of the success, you think of the business, you think of you know that degree, that book, whatever it is that you are believing for, the relationship, you think of it, but you're not tapping in and using your imagination to think from it. From it means as if you are in it now. What would it be like if that thing that you desire, that goal, that vision has manifested, has fully come to pass, how are you going to think? How are you going to feel? That's what you need to tap into. Neville Goddard also said, feeling is the secret. You have to imagine what it would feel like. Tap into your imagination, okay? Because that's what is literally creating your reality. You make that future dream, as Neville Goddard says, you make the future dream a present fact. So you almost, it's like, 
almost pretending, okay? But you're using your visualization, you're using your mind's eye, that's your imagination, your brain power, to see and feel what it would be like if you had that health, if you had that relationship, if you had the desired amount of money, okay? So that is what you need to tap into. And you're using your imagination, you're not using willpower. Like in this world, okay, um, there's this like hustle mentality. Like, okay, you gotta keep hustling, you gotta keep fighting against the things. And Neville Goddard even said that to fight against nature or to fight against the way things are is to go against the very nature of things. This world, especially for those that believe, Okay, those of us that trust God and we have faith, we know that God spoke this world into existence. Nothing came into being until he spoke it. And because we are made in his image, we are made in the image of the most high God, we could speak a thing into existence. You could literally speak your health into existence. You could speak the money into existence, the relationship. I do not care how grand I don't care how outlandish. I don't care who might not believe in your vision, who may say, ah, that's not gonna happen for you. You keep seeing it in your mind. You keep visualizing, you keep persisting. And if you keep thinking from that state, I'm telling you, it will manifest. In a way you don't know how, because we don't control the time, that's God's job. We don't control how things will manifest, that's his job. We don't control the bridge of events, as Neville Goddard talks about the bridge of events, that's God's job. Our only job is to stay in faith and keep believing, stay persistent. I know in this world, and I, I was listening to another content creator and basically they were saying, and I was like, yes, it's so true. If you think back over the last few years, right? In that season, because everyone went through that season at one point, okay? But yet it was people's mindset. If you had the mindset of fear and lack and sickness, that's what you got. But there were those of us that were like, uh -uh, I see it, but I don't see it. Like literally for me, I was like, yeah, I hear you, but I don't hear you, <laughs> okay? Let me look at what my Bible says. That's what I did in that season, okay? My Bible says, for he shall give his angels charge over thee. So because my Bible says that, and I'm a child of God, and I believe and trust in his word, I don't have to fear the things of man. When you start to tap, I'm telling you, when you start to tap into faith and use the gift of imagination and block out the 3D, the outside world, you block out things that are contrary. So whatever's contrary to your vision that doesn't line up with it, you're like, uh -uh, block it out you go within, you use your visualization, use that tool, see it in your mind's eye, use your imagination because that is what's creating your life moment by moment. That's why Joseph Murphy said here that you're not using willpower and your subconscious mind, it takes you at your word. No matter what you're saying, it doesn't differentiate between what is happening right now or what will happen. So your job is to stay Say that it's happening right now. Think that it's happening right now. And then in a way you don't know how, it's going to manifest, it's going to show up. So if you want that relationship, stop saying like, oh, you know, I want this relationship. I want, no, you're in it. Start thinking that you are in that. If it's the success, you are successful now. You don't wait for things to materialize. We speak it and then it materializes. That's how it works. Okay, that is how it truly works. And I'm telling you, I don't wanna go off on a tangent. They know this, and so this is why they try to block you out from ever knowing the truth. But the Bible says, and you shall know the truth, and the truth makes you free. The freedom is knowing that no matter where you are in life right now, no matter your circumstance, no matter your situation, no matter anything that is contrary, anything that seems like it's up against you, you can change it. If you would just start to speak by faith and believe by faith, regardless of what is showing up, and it will manifest, overcomers. I'm telling you, it will manifest. So, overcomers, I want you to tap in today and use your imagination, visualize, 
write your vision out if you have to. Take a few minutes and visualize that thing that you desire, okay? You're not using willpower. You're using your imagination, okay? Faith, that's what it is. It is going into the unseen realm, right? Okay? Because the Bible says the unseen realm eventually becomes the seen realm, right? So for we trust in the unseen. We trust in the unseen. We trust in God. I know this world will say, if you can't touch it, you can't feel it, you can't put your hands on it right away, it's not real. But the thing is, the way this world works, things are created twice. It's created in the spiritual realm first before it manifests into this felt realm, this 3D realm. And I don't want to go too deep on that, but that's how it works, I'm telling you. And if you don't, if you don't, you're unsure about that, I would encourage you, go into the scriptures. Look at the scriptures on faith, right? It says, Hebrews 11 and 1, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, meaning it's not seen yet. But as you speak it, as you move in faith, as you trust, it becomes seen. I've given you testimonies, overcomers, and I will continue, especially for my um, new followers, you know, the new people to the community. Several years ago, the doctor was saying a negative report. I heard what she said, but I didn't hear. And I just was like, mm -mm. and I just started speaking. Okay, speaking by his stripes, I am healed. I shall live and not die to declare the works of the Lord. All of these things, like I just started speaking scriptures over my body and in my mind. I share with you testimonies of, I knew two ladies that According to the doctors, they couldn't have any children. But the Bible says, whose report will you believe? We believe the report of the Lord. God operates in the realm of miracle signs and wonders. And how do you tap into that realm? You have to operate by faith. If you are just going by this world, and as I shared with you in the other message, if you are just being led by society and not being led by your spirit, you're always going to be led astray. Because every day it changes. Every day there's something to keep you in a state of fear, to keep you in a state of doubt, to keep you in a state of lack, because they know how powerful this brain is. But if you will get control of your brain, get control of where you are placing your attention. Some of you are just letting your mind run wild. No, you have to tell your mind just like a car, you don't just like, all right, just drive me anywhere, go where you wanna go. No, you drive it, you steer it in the direction of where you want to go. It's the same thing with your life. And you do that by putting your attention and your thoughts and your faith into the thing that you desire. You stand in your faith. You don't let up until it shows up right? The word says, be still and know that I'm God. Understand God has an amazing plan for your life. I know the way this world is wants to keep you in a state of fear, to keep you in a state of worry about what's next, but I want to encourage you to trust God. I want to encourage you to trust the tools that he has given us. That's why I call it a gift. Imagination, it's a gift. It's, it's how we create our reality. It's how we create our life. If, if we would just tap into that, Okay, stop tapping into the things of this world and be led by your spirit. Be led by the things that God is leading you to. That's how you overcome the situations of life. That's how you overcome the challenges of life. So overcomers, I pray this blessed you. I hope it encouraged you today. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you all so much. I love this community so much. If you like this message, please share, please comment, subscribe, please get others to join us. So thank you so much for being here. Have an awesome day, a blessed day, and always be an overcomer.